Have you ever wondered why young marriages and relationships break up as soon as the wife or the girlfriend or the baby mama gets pregnant and boom, the man doesn't want to stay around, he cannot stand her anymore, she becomes very different, she quarrels, she's vomiting, she's sickly, her character changes and everything about this lady changes. Have you ever wondered why it happens in that way? Now, before we dig in deep, let me first take a, a sip of my healing juice. This is a concentrated carrot extract. I have extracted carrot juice uh, and I have added in some uh, garlic. I, I, I extracted garlic juice as well and I've added in olive oil. This is the healing juice that I have taken that keeps me at 55 and 32 years of marriage, still looking fresh. Meanwhile, as I sip my juice, kindly subscribe, like this video and share so that we can understand why certain things affect our relationships and how we can fix the effects. Mm -hmm. That's my sip. Okay. Now, marriages break down, relationships break down as soon as the woman gets pregnant. What happens? Shouldn't be it be an exciting moment? Shouldn't it be a time of rejoicing? Why do men run away from these relationships as soon as the woman takes in? Now, this is what happens to the woman's body as soon as she gets pregnant and why what we must understand so that it doesn't come in negatively, but it should come in as a, 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 a celebration, as a joy, once we get to know how to handle it. First and foremost, as soon as the, the, the embryo uh, is formed in the woman's uterus and it has attached itself to its position, the woman's body starts fighting against this embryo just like it fights any uh, any bacteria, any virus or anything. So the immune system starts to attack. Now, while it is attacking, the other set of, of, of immune systems of the woman, the other part of it is protecting the woman and is as well protecting the new body. So now you can see the body of, of one person, of the lady, fighting against itself. One is fighting to expel, another one is fighting to keep. Because this body, that a uh, new baby that is coming in, has its own DNA and it's very different from what the body of the wife is used to. And so what happens? She becomes irritable, uh, the blood is pumping so high, and in most cases, the complications that come, they come as a result of raised blood pressure, of vomiting and um, lack of iron, because now the baby is also drawing from the mother's resources. The kidney misbehaves, it tries to hold on to the water and you end up seeing the feet of this lady getting swollen and uh, she's really uncomfortable. The body, it begins to expand, to expand to accommodate the new baby that is growing inside. The bones probably in the hips, they shift. Uh, the, the demand on the woman's brain increases demand on her heart to, to pump blood increases, demand on the lungs to supply enough oxygen increases. And so you see this lady gasping for breath time and again. Now, while all this pressure is exerted on this woman, she changes completely. She ceases to be that girl that you knew, the lady that you knew, and she becomes, uh, some ladies become irritable and and quarrelsome as they vomit, they need all the help that they can. And uh, eventually some weak men will run away. They will run away to go and find comfort. They will complain that the lady she is no longer the same as she used to be. They will not try to understand the situation, but they will look for a quick escape. What should we do? as people who are supporting the ladies and what are the impact is going to be on this marriage. Now, once the woman is quarreling so much, of course the love will freeze 
the love will freeze for a man who is not prepared. What should a man do in order to manage this situation very well? Number one that a man should do without running away and escaping, first and foremost, understand that what is happening to this woman's body is strange, is new. She has never had it before, okay, unless she has been pregnant several times. But if it is the first pregnancy, it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be a big challenge that is going to require your support as much as possible. Try as much as possible to comfort her. Try as much as possible to listen. Listen to her when she's complaining, when she's talking. Listen to her. It makes a lot of sense. Um, help her with some of the chores because her energy levels are not as big as they used to be. So her energy is drawn and, and uh, she's a little weaker. And so she will need all the help that she can to be able to, to, to cope with the new uh, the new baby in her body. Now, as her body changes, uh, and the body is expanding, the stretch marks are coming, she's going to, to feel less confident. She's going to feel less confident because uh, she's used to being slender and sleek. She's used to be, being perfect in her clothes. She's no longer perfect. Everything she wears, she looks really different from what she's used to. And so she will need your reassurance that this baby is going to be in her body for nine months. And when the nine months are over, the baby will come out and she will be herself again. And uh, you still love her anyway. So reassure this lady that in, even with a pregnancy, you understand she is still your best. She is still your wife. She is going to be better. She even looks good and she can glow with her pregnancy. It is normal and it is a gift, a blessing to be pregnant. And so support her. Support her emotionally. Support her physically. Support her psychologically. And make sure that she doesn't break down in the midst of, of the pregnancy. Now, about the quarreling and the complaining that she's going through, you need to understand that it is for only a time. And eventually, when the body is used to the body, maybe after three or four months or five months, she will calm down, the body will adjust, and some of these things will just disappear. So what should you do if she cries and she's telling you to go away? Just hide around the corner and make sure that she knows that you're around her corner, but you've gone away from her presence. Because if a woman, a pregnant woman tells you to go away and you go away, she will still be angry. She will still want you to be around. She will say, now you're leaving me. And if she tells you come and you come, she, then she will be happy. So listen to these crazy things that she is uh, experiencing and play accordingly because that is all the support that she's requiring from you and once you give her that support the baby will grow very well everything is going to be very safe and you will rejoice knowing that you supported your woman up to the time when she's delivering the baby and so it begins with understanding that her body is fighting against her it begins with understanding that the body is putting a lot of demands uh, on, on her, and so she needs good feeding. It needs to be understanding that emotionally she's not herself, and so she needs all the emotional support and understanding that she can get from you. And when you have stayed around and you've stuck around and you've been faithful to her and you've given her a reason to enjoy the pregnancy, you will thank God when your baby has come. And I conclude like this, gentlemen, when your wife is pregnant, that is not the time to cheat on her. It's not the time to run away from her. It is the time to give her your best, your best support, your best emotions, your best encouragement, and your best of everything and sticking around her and helping her so that your baby can be delivered, surrounded by so much love. Let's make the time of pregnancy to be times to rejoice and to bond and to come together in love 
and to build a stronger union rather than running away from each other and breaking this vow and going different uh, separate ways. I encourage you, make your bond stronger during pregnancy. Don't run away from your wife. It is the time that she needs you the most. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and share your experiences. See you another time. Bye-bye.